inspiration in every glance and every breeze. Uh, that's the plaza. But uh, I can't see anyone waiting for us. Should we look around? What's oh, going on with him? Is You can fight it, or rock with it! Nap time. <laughs> Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Let's rock! you a lesson. Ready to lie down now? <sighs> Thanks for helping to stabilize the patients. Your assertive sedation techniques are quite effective. Assertive sedation techniques? Uh, does she mean beating people up? However, these cloud knights were already sick, and now they're injured too. I've got to bandage up their wounds, realign their bones. Ugh, as if I didn't have enough on my plate. Where did you come from, little one? Is your dad around? I don't have a dad. Uh, what about your mom? I don't have a mom either. <sighs> I get it. You think because I'm small, I must be a runaway child. <laughs> Welcome to the Xian Show, my short-lived outsider friends. Appearances can be deceiving here. The Vidyadara race is self-reincarnating. No mom or dad required. I've been studying the art of healing ever since I cast off my old show. You're looking at a recognized, practicing, dedicated doctor. Bellabog kids are making snowmen, while children here are writing prescriptions. Things haven't been very peaceful in the Lawful recently. Make sure you don't... <laughs> ...go running around, right? Well, your general gave us an errand, so I'm afraid we have to. Hmm... Well, seeing as you saved me just now, if you're unlucky enough to acquire any breaks or sprains, I'll treat you for free. As for medicine, I'll give you a 20% discount. Ha! Do you have any idea how many people in the law floor are waiting for an appointment with me? You should count this as a blessing. If I hadn't left my purse at home, I wouldn't have to... <laughs> Enough of that. I have patience to see. Our little miracle worker seems very different from everyone else around. Don't you think, Mr. Yang? So this is the Vidyadara. I've only ever read about them. They're known as the Dragon Race. Not hard to see why. Hurry. Remember to minimize contact. We don't want your people to succumb to the same evil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Realm Keeping Commission is out in full strength. What about the Alchemy Commission? Why are there so few of you here? Do you mean... out in full force? Hey, Missy, does this look like a classroom to you? Concentrate on treating the patients.
That's the best I can do. What's that supposed to mean? Doctors don't give up that easily. What else am I supposed to do? The route back to the Alchemy Commission has disappeared, and we're in the field without the right medicine or supplies. Besides, we have no record of this disease at all. These symptoms are consistent with someone about to be stricken with Mara. According to his medical record, this man is barely over 200 years old. He only just joined the Cloud Knights. How can he possibly be Mara struck? Why don't you take another look? It goes on like this. The judges of the Ten Lords Commission will have to come out and clean up this mess. Everyone, please remain calm. This is an announcement from the Realm Keeping Commission General Bureau. Exalting Sanctum is temporarily closing its borders and navigation routes. The details will be outlined in the official bulletin sent to your Jade Abacus soon. If you feel unwell, please report to the Realm Keeping Commission as soon as possible. We have doctors from the Alchemy Commission here who will see you free of charge. Oh. Uh, we will be distributing a bag of protein rice and emergency medicine to each of you. You can collect the supplies from me in person, or the commission can deliver them to your door. I heard there's a problem with their meridian pin. Some diviners and stargazers managed to escape the delve. Many of them were terrified. They were muttering about plants and roots. Something terrible must have happened there. Do you have friends trapped in the delve? If you're worried about them, find a diviner and see if they can tell you what happened. Please register with your Jade Abacus bracelet. Oh, you must- I see. Please, sign here. I wanna say it's all in a day's work, but I've been here for 12 hours already. When will this end? When it rains, it pours. The Artisanship Commission has its own issues. It sounds serious, too. Go and inform the Cloud Knights. See if you can... Oh, my apologies. I'm an orderly from the Realm Keeping Commission. Judging by your address, you must be visitors to the Law Fook. Sorry, the Xian Zhou is currently caught in... Unusual circumstances, but the Cloud Knights will resolve the issues as soon as possible. For safety reasons, please stay in your residence and refrain from going out for the time being. If the port is still open, I would suggest you take a boat to Starskiff Haven right away. Though, I heard the route may have been... Uh, temporarily suspended. Oh, that reminds me. I have a friend with a Starskiff and a travel permit. He could help you and your friends get over quickly. The price is fair and negotiable. What do you think? Well, now, you must be quite special. Hey, don't spread this around, but uh, this isn't some small-scale maintenance drill. The General has sent the Cloud Knights to check for hidden dangers. You may not need it right now, but if there's any help I can give you, come to me anytime. Excuse me, miss. Hold on a moment. It was only thanks to your help earlier that the Dragon Lady and those exalting Sanctum residents got away unscathed. The Dragon Lady of the Alchemy Commission, Lady Bailu. You mean the child? She's starting to sound like a big shot. A friend in the Skyfaring Commission told me the General Commission guests to deal with the troubles on the Lafu. You must be the guests. If you don't mind, I hope you can take the time to come to the Realm Keeping Commission. I'd like to talk to you about the issues Exalting Sanctum is currently facing. Mm. 
<laughs> Household registration always takes forever. Oh, that's right. Yeah, forgive my forgetfulness. Glad you came. It's great to have one of the General's distinguished guests helping us out. My Realm Keeping Commission colleagues failed to provide adequate care for the Dragon Lady. I'd like to thank you on behalf of all of them for rescuing her back in Exulting Sanctum Plaza. As I'm sure you're aware, symptoms of Mara have been spreading ever since the Stellaron incident occurred. Thanks to the Ten Lords Commission, being stricken with Mara had long since become a terrifying but avoidable fate for Sienjo natives. The puzzling thing is that despite the Commission's protection, we're now seeing an increase. More and more citizens, in particular those dealing with great risks and stress like the Cloud Knights, are becoming stricken with Mara. Moreover, the Mara struck have taken on a horrifying appearance. As if they're turning into some sort of monster. This certainly differs from what I thought I knew about the illness. We wouldn't have the audacity to trouble you with that. The General has a plan to suppress the illness. You're a capable person. And since the General entrusted you with locating the Stellaron, it's only a matter of time before you run into Marastruck. If you come across any clues, remember to inform the Realm Keeping Commission straight away. My colleagues and I will handle any situation with haste and to the best of our ability. Speaking of which, have you made any discoveries so far? I... I read the letter. I'll be honest with you, I've got no idea how to handle this problem. It's beyond the Realm Keeping Commission's jurisdiction. I contacted the Seat of Divine Foresight, which is overseen by the General. Allow me to introduce Madame Ching Zhu, General Jing Yuan's Chief Counselor. I think it'll be easier if she explains the letter to you. I read the letter you obtained from the Mara Struck. While the Cloud Knights were searching for the Stellaron's whereabouts, I was carrying out the General's orders, tracking down clues on the Mara Struck. Thanks to your efforts, we now have a lead. To an outsider, this letter appears to be nothing more than good news detailing a recovery from a chronic illness. However, what is actually being discussed is a violation of the Ten Unpardonable Sins. It's heresy. Correct. The term Merciful Medicus is one of respect. One that any law-abiding citizen of the Alliance would never dare utter. It refers to none other than the enemy of the people of the Xianzhou. The one we now call the Plague's Author. The Eon of Abundance. Yao Shi. The author of this letter was likely the Marastruck you defeated. My guess is he was led astray and poisoned while under the pretext of being cured. You saw how he ended up. Such actions remind me of an organization that was eradicated from the Sienjo a thousand years ago. The Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. They were disciples of the Abundance that sought to restore the way of immortality by unearthing a forbidden remedial formula. It's hard to believe that a group that was wiped out so long ago would suddenly rear its head and create chaos once more. The Seat of Divine Foresight needs to learn all it can about this organization's status before the situation reaches a point of no return. If you come across any similar clues about the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus, come and find me at the Seat of Divine Foresight. These kinds of first-hand accounts are exactly what we require. Don't worry. 
The seed of divine foresight always rewards those who contribute to our efforts. I recently received some intel. It seems that certain individuals are taking advantage of the current chaos to lure in outworlders around Exalting Sanctum. Maybe you could start there? We sent an undercover investigator out a few months ago. They provided us with a rough idea of the situation. Unfortunately, it seems suspicions were aroused. We lost contact with the agent. I suspect he was discovered. You are a fresh face in the Lafu, and an outworlder. I would feel more at ease if I could leave this matter with you. Household registration always takes forever. <laughs> Drop by the Realm Keeping Commission if you need help. I don't believe Get in your ghosts. Extractor clean to your star skip service. <laughs> Look no further. Excuse me, guest from another world. Please spare me a moment of your time. Do you yearn for immortality? Do you not believe in the pursuit of eternal life? Perhaps it's because you've already given up on that aspiration. Who would turn down the opportunity to live forever? The Sienjo doesn't care one bit about the well-being of short life species. They stubbornly blockade the glorious path to immortality. My name is Green Hibiscus. I came to Exalting Sanctum in hopes of a fated encounter with one such as yourself. One who is also on the road to immortality. What do you say? How about we find a more suitable spot to talk about all this? Let's make haste. There are too many people here to linger. Here we are. This is the place. Uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves. If it were so easy, we'd be a far larger group, and there'd be no need for secrecy. Allow me to reintroduce myself. I am a member of the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. I was unable to expose my true identity in Exalting Sanctum, but now I can reveal everything. The Disciples of Sanctus Medicus is a devout group, holding firm in their belief that Merciful Medicus is the one ultimate fate. As followers, we refer to ourselves as disciples, dedicated to our cause. If you wish to gain the means to immortality, then you must become a disciple. But to become a disciple, you must first pass several small trials. Please excuse me. Our expansion has unfortunately attracted the attention of those devilish archer followers. If we are not careful, the consequences could be unthinkable. No need to be concerned about him. Much like yourself, he is here to undergo the trials. No need to be concerned about him. Every species yearns for the favor and curing of merciful medicus, regardless of whether they have heard of the abundance or not. Foxians yearn to cure themselves of their 300-year lifespan. The Fidiotera yearn to cure themselves of the pain of reincarnation and lack of progeny. As for Sienjo natives, they long to cure themselves of the torture of becoming Mara-struck, 
Of course, we know that this torture is rather a kind of blessed evolution. To return to your question, Sanctus Medicus can cure the aging that short life species face, along with disease and death. Sanctus Medicus can do for you what they did for the Sienjo natives. Ah, only those led astray by followers of the devilish archer could despise merciful Medicus. Sadly, there are many such people. Too many. What you seek, you will surely find. Merciful Medicus is magnanimous. They do not lightly refuse a prayer. As such, the initiation trials for the disciples of Sanctus Medicus are nothing arduous. All you must do is transcribe this copy of Thousand-Handed Merciful Medicus's Salvation 500 times by hand. This will allow your brothers and sisters to trust your faith, and you to become a disciple. This scripture is central to the disciples. You must maintain a pious heart during the transcription. It would be best if you could memorize the text. Of course. This is but the first trial. Once you have become a disciple, you will undergo numerous others. Excessive. The old rules dictated that the text be copied 50,000 times. I myself undertook such a feat. Nowadays, the master takes greater pity on the common people. Hence, the number has been reduced to a mere 500. Psst. Hey, stop writing! Get over here! Took you long enough. I know you. You're General Jingyuan's honored guest. You're here undercover, right? So am I. You've got to believe me. I'm a cloud knight from the Exalting Sanctum Garrison. That green hibiscus has been sneaking around spreading heretical lies for a while now. That's why I'm here, to spy on him. They were suspicious of me as soon as I arrived. It took a lot of effort to make them believe I wanted to become a disciple. <laughs> I have my reasoning. Cults like this want to recruit people with influence in law and order. I wanted them to know I was a cloud knight. Always know your enemy. Shh! Keep your voice down! These disciples don't miss much. If they discover us, we won't make it out of here. You can trust me with the transcription. I spent over 150 years pen-pushing in the seat of divine foresight before I became a cloud knight. I could do this in my sleep. Listen carefully. I help you copy the text, you cover for me, and I get word out to the seat of divine foresight. Take your time, still your mind, and transcribe the text. Allow the beautiful enlightenment of thousand-handed merciful Medicus's salvation to permeate your being. Take your time. You're finished? So soon? Let me see. Ah. Hmm. Huh. Yes, it would appear you are finished. 
A fast and accurate transcription. It seems you are destined for immortality. Calm yourself. The initiation is divided into two steps. You and the Cloud Knight have completed the first. Now, only the second remains. Sure, but can it wait till tomorrow? I'm supposed to be on duty right now. They'll get suspicious if I don't head back soon. No need to worry. The second step is extraordinarily simple. It'll all be over soon enough. The Disciples' initiation is governed by the following principle. Never accept who you suspect, and never suspect who you accept. So, it's time for you two to battle it out. Whoever survives will officially become a Disciple. <laughs> Transcribing scripture allows us to ascertain your devotion, but determining whether or not you'll be loyal to the organization requires a stronger guarantee. Sorry, there's nothing I can do about it. I didn't write the rules. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're kidding, right? We came here to lengthen our lifespans, not shorten them. You can't just make us fight like this. We aren't forcing you to fight. By all means, refuse if you wish. But we won't possibly be able to let either of you leave. I... Mm, fine. Fine. But at least let me prepare? I've never done anything like this before. Very well. But you'll need to ask your opponent, too. Good. Then prepare yourselves. Time is precious. Make it quick. Listen, I have an idea that will let you join the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus and let me get the heck out of here in one piece. You and I fight, and I lose to you. I pretend that you finish me off. Then you pretend to help them remove my body by dragging me out of here. That way, we both accomplish our objectives. Oh, um, <clears throat> I've seen your skills. Um, please don't mess up any. <laughs> Good. I knew I could trust you. My life is in your hands. So, have you prepared yourselves? Are you ready to fight? And you, Cloud Knight? <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm ready. Then, let's begin. Well then, take this! <sighs> what a headache. What? Ah! Time for a buzz. <laughs> <laughs> this is double speed. What magnificent skill! He was fierce, but no match for you! I'm glad you prevailed. That Cloud Knight waltzed straight up to us in uniform and asked if he could join. Hardly a convincing spectacle. I doubt I ever could have trusted him. Purple Chrysanthemum, Blue Peach. Find somewhere to dispose of the body. Oh? You've dealt with this kind of thing before? A long-time associate, eh? You're well-connected, I see. Hmm... This does have its advantages. Our brothers and sisters have been proselytizing and exalting Sanctum over the last few days. We may have attracted the attention of the Devils. Having you dispose of the Cloud Knight will be safer. As such, this can be your first mission as a disciple. You take an active approach to getting things done. 
I'll be sure to pass that on to my superiors. In any case, my hearty congratulations on your admission to the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. From now on, you will be known by the code name Grey Peony. Well, Grey Peony, let's depart separately to avoid attracting attention. We'll rendezvous at a different location later. Until then. <laughs> I did a good job playing dead, didn't I? <laughs> Those people are out of their minds. Watch your step next time you're around them. Wait, you, you weren't holding back? Uh, no, I should report back to the seat of Divine Foresight. <laughs>